and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. I'm simply looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the Cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the Cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlais and Orlais alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the Cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Any leads on who might have committed the attacks? Orlais? Reginald Orlais? He did this? I didn't think he was still alive. You're sure it was him? That's some impressive work. So then give us the rundown. Where's Orlais now? Were you able to bring him in? Huh, I see. Wish we could have questioned him, but, well, there's nothing we can do at this point. Any idea why he might have done it? Or what he was doing with the plant? I can't imagine the amount of work it took to deploy the Lazarus plant off-world. 
Strange to go to all that trouble and not state your reasons. Well, the man knew how to hold a grudge. I wouldn't be shocked if this was him getting back at the UC for trying to put him on trial. Hmm. I guess. Well, at least he won't be able to hurt anybody else now. Might be the best we could ask for, given the circumstances. So I guess there's nothing else to do but get this all in front of the cabinet. Unless there were other things we needed to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Then here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? My god. An attack? Using Terramorphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Ve Victus? My father, what are you- He did what? That, that, that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to- Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling, considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No planet would be safe. Heavens help us. It, it, is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassin, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Vevictus sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. I'm inclined to agree, Captain. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here. The Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches. The three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. Tell the Freestar Collective? Why? Wow. So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture. To further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, 
You want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? No, I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kalkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heatleech, presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asilis are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? I, uh, yes, ma'am. Sorry. I'm just now learning about my father being alive. I'm sorry, Major, though I hope you understand why this had to be kept in the strictest confidence. Would you like a moment? I... I'll be fine. We've been having similar debates ourselves. It's only... It's only the Captain who has yet to share. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? The Captain is normally a trustworthy source. And, uh, in this case, continues to be. He speaks for us all, ma'am. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts, spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. I can't believe you knew about my father all this time and lied to me. I thought we were... Well, I thought we at least respected one another more than that. You swore... You... You swore you were just doing your duty, after all. I know, I know what a burden... What a burden that can be. Look, I, I guess I'm not thrilled that you kept it from me for this long, but I suppose I can see past one moment of monumental boneheadedness this time. Of course, 
This is just hard to find out all at once. You know, my heart stopped when you first said it, that he was still alive, that I might have to see him again. I mean, I had to, right? It could be my last chance. And then I realized all confronting him now would prove is that he still has some sway over my life. And I know I can never escape the Sanan legacy, his and mine. But I'm not about to let my past sully a future that's, well, that's brighter than it has been in a long time. And that's thanks to you. We've both got our assignments. And I guess I should get a move on. Good luck out there, Captain. You do the same.